for all of you that don't know what models of the mouse that I've been using, I've been using the Death Adder from Razer for about two years at least. Yeah, now I'm changing to this easy to be model from BenQ Zao. We're gonna do a review on mouse. Why am I making the mouse review? The one that I'm using is totally dead. Before we look into the, the Zowie's mouse range, if you go to their website, you can see that they have the FK, the EC, and the ZA series. The numbers behind that indicates behind all the three types of this series. The larger the number, the smaller the, the size of the mouse. The first one that we're gonna review is the low profile mouse, which is the FK1+, Plus, the FK1, and the FK2. Now, the low profile, what does it mean? We're gonna look into the aesthetic first before we move into the low profile. The first thing first, you can see the build is pretty straightforward. It's just like a usual mouse, nothing special. The five side buttons, one, two here, another one here, okay. And the clicking button, mouse one, mouse two, and the rolling wheel, okay. But the bottoms of the mouse, you can see that there's these buttons is for you to customize the DPI, which is preset in this mouse itself. The first will be the 400 DPI, the second will be 800 DPI, the third and fourth would be the 1600 and 3200 DPI. For the low profile mouse, the FK1 Plus series, it's, you can see from the arch, the build of this mouse, the arch is slightly lower. If you're playing on the RTS game, I really find that this uh, FK series really suitable for people playing uh, League of Legends, Dota 2. For me personally, I would go for that, the FK series. The next one, it's the ZA series, which is the high profile mouse. And the build is slightly similar than the FK series. But for the ZA series, they only offer three sizes, the small, medium, large which is the 11, 12, and 13. The ZA series, as you can see, this is the higher profile where you can see the arch of this mouse is slightly higher compared to the low profile, where you could see from this. This is the FK and this is the ZA. You can see the difference? Yeah. The, the straightforward look of this uh, dimension, both of them are equally same. So, for players who are using left-handed, this might be the one for you. I'm gonna remind you one more time, you guys really have to go to the store and give it an experience before you, you buy it online or buy it uh, at the retail store. Now, we're gonna look at the Easy A and the Easy B. Before we go to the B, we go to the A. Pretty straightforward. The Easy A have two sides of difference. The Easy 1 and the Easy 2. The smaller the number, the bigger the size, okay? So, the aesthetics. For the Easy 1A, they only have uh, extra two buttons at the right side, which is for your palm. You can see, and the mouse one, and the mouse one, and the mouse two. Scroll over wheel, middle mouse button. This is the ergonomic type where it's pretty straightforward for people who are using right-handed and also across the same FK and ZA series these actually have an inter interchangeable DPI as well after trying for a few days on the EC2B model from Zowie I find it the buttons on the side compared to the tactile types that is provided from the FK the FK series the side buttons are more clicky compared to the ECB model, I would really like to have all of these side buttons to be standardized across all Zowie. Uh, Zowie actually put an effort to research on all different kind of the models and all different, three different sizes for your options. I really like the, the product that they're making. I really hope Zowie would make more different kind of uh, uh, color variations instead of the black or maybe they, they would like to involve on the matte black so I would really like to see that in the future and also the software implementation this is what I really want from Zowie as well because uh, switching from using on a desktop or when I'm gaming a CSGO I would really want to have the seamlessly switch between 
my desktop DPI and uh, well gaming DPI whereas uh, the competitor are actually implementing this already in the market but we'll see in the future there's uh, plenty room to improve on Zawi if you guys would ask me whether or not to recommend Zawi definitely yes it's really a thumbs up if you like the video click the like button Click the like buttons if you want to see more about this video let me know in the comment section below i'll see you guys next time